Hello everyone. So after a two month hiatus, I am finally back. And I was going to do videos on two pieces of ransomware that I acquired, but either my samples were faulty or the malware was virtual machine aware. And I don't know if it may have been compatibility but I doubt it was considering I tested it on Windows 7, Windows 8.1, and Windows 10. All fresh installs. But enough mumbling. Let me show you the product we're going to test today. So today I'll be taking a look at Knox Security. So let's take a look at it. And the first thing you'll see is a giant scan button. Never scan. So never scanned maybe? You don't want me to scan my device using your product? Eh, let's just ignore the grammar and just continue. We have a junk cleaner. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to grant any... Actually, I'll just grant the permission. Yeah, allow. Let's see what it finds. Residual junks. Useless APKs. Okay, so it has 118 megabytes to clean. Okay. Alright. So, just cleans cache and useless files. Well, files that deems are useless. We have an app locker. Okay. So, just for the sake of this test, I'm going to unclick everything except the gallery. Let's lock this. Eh. Sure, let's just do this. And, no, I don't think I'll do that. And we have one app locked. Let's see if it actually locked it. Oh, gallery's right there. Taking a while to launch. Oh, there we go. Let's try our pattern. So, it works. It's a little bit skeptical, but hey. We have a memory booster which clears out tasks. Now, I don't usually recommend these because they're pretty much snake oil. Android does all the memory management in the background and you don't need to get a separate application to do what Android already does. Anyway, we have a CPU cooler, another glorified task killer. We have a notification blocker. Let's take a look at that. Okay, so it just consolidates all your messages. Okay, then. We have hot tools. Message security. Okay, so it just hides the contents of your messages. Kind of useful, I guess. We have a full scan. I'm not going to click on that quite yet. We have file encryption. Zoom protects your files. Yep. Come on now, there we go. We have Wi-Fi security. No, I don't think I'm gonna do that on a public YouTube video. No thanks. No disturb. So this is a call blocker. I have a VPN. Download the latest VPN database. What even is a VPN database? You know what, I'm not going to pretend to know. Come on now, there we go. And we have safe browsing. Maybe a malicious website blocker? Nope. So this is just an incognito browser. Cool, I guess. I don't like the fact that it had a... No, 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 let's go back. You've agreed with our privacy policy. I'll have to look into that later because that's usually not a good sign in my book when an incognito browser has a privacy policy. Like, 
I suspect they're maybe collecting something. I don't know. Whatever. I'll look into that later and maybe add a post-production um, subtitle in. We have a battery saver, memory booster again, a game booster. Let's get probably another task killer, the Knox family. Which I assume Knox family is just their other apps. So we have our security level, medium. Okay, you'll not be disturbed by frequent notifications. I guess that's somewhat crucial, whatever. We have their Facebook page, we have an update checking. And of course, it's the latest version. We have a feedback and then we have settings. Okay, notice remind of on abnormal behaviors of your device. Okay. So I guess useful or maybe annoying. At least you can turn that off. And we have uninstall reminder, auto update, fire state base. I'm assuming it updated in the background, considering I launch this to get it up and running that way I didn't have to waste my time on camera and your time and just click through all the prompts we have real-time protection so blocks threats when they're installed call blocker temperature unit not sure why it's set to Celsius actually it's probably just the default some in the US, I use Fahrenheit, then privacy policy, and then about us. Okay, let's take a look at that later. Then about us. So this is the version of Knox Security we're using. It's the latest version of, what is today? March 28th. So this is the latest version of now, as of now. And I believe that is all. Oh, there's an upgrade. What exactly do we have here? Okay, so... Okay, no ads, VIP, pro IP address. Uh, I don't know exactly what that's supposed to be. So, $12 a year for Pro, and then I think that's 24 a year for Ultimate. I don't know, my math is awful. And, oh, wait a moment, no, I'm not paying Anyway, enough of looking at the UI. Let me show you what I have today for testing. So, as usual, I have the over 100 malware pieces, or pieces of malware, rather. And today we have 106 threats. So, let me start a scan with Knox Security, I guess. And I believe it was right here. Yes, full scan is right there. And I will be right back when this full scan completes. Okay, I am back after about 15 minutes of video rendering. And no... Knox Security did not take this long to scan. It's my video recording software that takes forever to render a video. Anyway, let's take a look at what we have here. We have 41 items. Now, something I like already is that it actually classifies these pretty well. It doesn't have a specific like detection name. It just has high risk and then fraud, which this is a fake 
which then this offers a fake job and tells you to email or call a certain place. This system destruction, well, this is the Android file coder ransomware. Now, I would have made a video on it, but uh, didn't exactly work very well. Anyway, let's go ahead and resolve all problems. Okay, so is it just going to count down and every second delete a threat? Well, I guess it will. That's a first. Well, any day now, sweetheart. A45 threats eliminated. Oh, you're going to want me to watch an ad? I don't think so, buddy. So let's see what we have left here. And we have... 61 files left. So this is not good. I mean, there is... There's no excuse for this. This is awful. And I've said once, I'll say again, most of these samples are more than a year old. Some of them even two to three years old. So, Nox, you have a lot of work that needs to be done in order to improve your software. Anyway, I would not recommend this under any circumstances. You can do a lot better. Anyway, that pretty much wraps up this video. Thank you all for watching and have a great day.